The haunting of the peony lantern in the quiet village of Yamanaka, nestled in the shadow of ancient mountains, the legend of Botan Doro was whispered with trembling voices. The story was about a tragic love affair and a ghostly curse that haunted the living. A forbidden love many years ago, a beautiful woman named Otsuyu lived in Yamanaka. Her beauty was renowned, and her heart was devoted to a young samurai named Kikanusuke. They promised to marry, and their love was said to be pure and eternal. However, Kikanusuke was pressured by his family to marry another, a union that would secure his family's wealth and status. Otsuyu waited in vain, her heart breaking as each day passed. When Kikanusuke finally returned, it was not with the promise of marriage, but with the cold news that he could no longer be with her. Devastated and betrayed, Otsuyu's spirit shattered. In her sorrow, she took her own life, leaving behind a world that had torn her love apart. The ghostly lantern months after her tragic death, strange occurrences began in the village. Villagers reported seeing a ghostly figure, a beautiful woman with a lantern adorned with wilted peony flowers, drifting through the night. The lantern glowed with an eerie light, casting an otherworldly shadow that seemed to move with a life of its own. The ghost, known as Otsuyu, was no longer the sweet and loving woman she once was. Her spirit was consumed by a deep, vengeful anger. The peony lantern she carried was cursed, and it was said that anyone who saw it would soon meet a grim fate. The seduction one crisp autumn evening, a young man named Hiroshi, unaware of the curse, wandered into the forest near the village. He was searching for herbs and had ventured too far from the safety of the village. As the sun dipped below the horizon, he saw a faint, flickering light through the trees. Drawn by the ethereal glow, Hiroshi followed the light until he came upon a clearing. There, amidst the mist, stood Otsuyu's ghost, holding the peony lantern. Her beauty was haunting, and her eyes were filled with a sorrowful intensity. Hiroshi, captivated by her appearance, approached her. Who are you? he asked, his voice trembling. The ghostly figure smiled, but there was something unsettling about her expression. I am Otsuyu, she said softly. I seek companionship in my eternal night. As Hiroshi drew nearer, the lantern's light grew brighter and colder. The temperature dropped sharply, and an unnatural chill filled the air. Hiroshi's heart raced, but he felt compelled to move closer, unable to resist the ghost's eerie allure. The fatal embrace the lantern's light seemed to envelop Hiroshi, and he could feel an icy grasp on his arm. Otsuyu's ghostly form began to waver, her beauty fading into something more sinister. Her eyes, once sorrowful, now burned with an unearthly fire. I have waited for so long, she whispered. Now you will join me in my eternal grief. As Hiroshi struggled to pull away, he felt a suffocating weight pressing down on him. His vision blurred, and the world seemed to close in around him. The peony lantern's light consumed him, and he felt an overwhelming sense of despair. He fell to the ground, his body cold and lifeless, as the lantern's glow faded into the night. The legend lives on the next morning, villagers found Hiroshi's lifeless body in the clearing, his expression frozen in terror. The tale of Otsuyu and her cursed lanterns spread, and it became a warning to those who wandered too close to the forest at night. To this day, the villagers of Yamanaka speak of the ghostly woman with the peony lantern who roams the night. It is said that if you see the lantern's light flickering through the trees, you should turn away immediately, for the spirit of Otsuyu still seeks to claim those who are drawn to her tragic allure. And so, the legend of Botan Doro remains, a chilling reminder of the vengeful spirit and the cursed lantern that holds the power to trap souls in eternal sorrow.